Roger Maris himself started a celebrity golf tournament in Fargo 37 years ago to raise money for local causes. This year, Sanford Health and the Maris family built upon those humble beginnings to host the first Roger Maris All-Star Week. Dad was only able to make the first one, you know, and he got sick during the second one and, and uh, didn't make it to the third one. But, uh, you know, we've been very successful and, you know, had a lot of fun over the years with the family and, and coming back and supporting the charities over the years and to now build it into pulling more of the community involved uh, is a real thrill for us, you know, and, and it's always a great joy to come back to see a lot of Dad's friends and stuff throughout the years and, and uh, just improve the community as best we can. Once again, the Maris family led the way, this time with more community-based events. The family participated in youth sports clinics for 350 children, along with other celebrities like wrestler Brock Lesnar. The Roger Maris Week Gala helped to raise money for the Cancer Center. The annual golf tournament saw celebrities like former Minnesota Wild player Nate Prosser and Olympic gold medalist Gigi Marvin take their swings. And the community was able to take in a summer night at Island Park, which more than 3,000 people attended. Dad obviously had an amazing baseball legacy and did some amazing things with baseball, but uh, you know we've been doing this now, like I say, going to our 37th year. And I mean, I think when everything's all said and done, this true legacy will be with the Roger Maris Cancer Center. While the week itself expanded from one event on one day, Sanford was proud to announce its own expansions as well. Moorhead native and three-time Stanley Cup champion Matt Cullen who so generously started Cully's Kids Cabin within Sanford Children's Hospital, is set to create Cully's Cottage within the Roger Maris Cancer Center. For us to be able to do this and partner with Sanford again is just, it's awesome. I mean, you know, you, our, our whole goal here is just to try to reach as many kids as possible and make as big a difference as possible. And um, with, Sanford's, with Sanford's help and, and partnering here, this is another chance to do it. So we're, we're thrilled. And former Minnesota Viking Chad Greenway donated Chad's locker a technology station at Sanford Children's Hospital that helps kids have some fun during their treatment and recovery. We're just trying to connect with our families that are here in the hospital. Obviously, we know it's an unfortunate circumstance that brings you here, um, and we wanted to find a way to be part of the solution. So with our locker, um, you can find technology, laptops, Nintendo Switches, iPads, PlayStation Portables, all the things that can maybe bide your time, keep you busy when you're in the hospital during a stay that you probably you know, don't want to be here. So we're trying to make it any way possible a little bit better. The biggest announcement, though, was the addition of a state-of-the-art bone marrow transplant program at the Roger Maris Cancer Center. We're really excited about that for what it means for Fargo, and what it means for a much broader region who depend on the Roger Maris Cancer Center. And we couldn't thank the community enough for their support in making that happen. It is the search for cures and treatments of cancer that brought out the best in so many people during Roger Maris All-Star Week. Dr. Carl June, Sanford Health's 2021 Lorraine Cross Award winner for his work on stem cell lymphoma treatments, may have summed it up best. He said the first full Roger Maris Week will likely be remembered for celebrating something almost unthinkable all those years back. I grew up in the Bay Area with the San Francisco Giants, and I have to say I didn't like the Yankees, but I followed as a kid what he and Mickey Mantle did, and I have great fondness memories of watching uh, what he accomplished. And I think keeping that alive and remembering the fact he died of a lymphoma at the age of 51. And that is exactly the disease we can now cure with CAR T cells. So I think this completes a very large circle. And it's a really exciting fact that, you know, there's golf tournaments and, and enlarging, bringing philanthropy in to grow new kinds of therapies is really critical for the uh, success of the Sanford system. In Fargo, Jason Anschutz, Sanford Health News.